is welcome to QA automated in this video we are going to see introduction of selenium so what is selenium selenium is a free open source automation testing tool for web based application uh, selenium is very similar to the QTP that is quality test pro tool provided by HP but that tool is not freely available it is paid software and selenium mostly focuses on web based applications so uh, selenium comes with various uh, automation tools so it is not just one tool that is selenium it comes with a bunch of different softwares so this we are going to see we have four selenium tools selenium ide selenium rc selenium web driver and selenium grid so let's see each of this tool one by one and what it does and how it can be helpful for our testing or not So let's check with Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE is this uh, integrated development environment provided by Selenium which is very simplest and basic framework provided by Selenium. It is a plugin or kind of add-on on Firefox browser so you can install it as an add-on and then you can use it to record your test case. Recording means if you are clicking on a button it record your steps and save that step so next time if you play that test case it will go and click on the same button so this is called as record and play tool okay so this is very fast to use and it is very easy to use as you can see there is no coding required but uh, it has very limited functionality we cannot do uh, or write advanced test scenario we cannot capture that or we cannot automate those advanced scenarios that's why we need more advanced tools for that so we can see the pros as you see it's very easy to use as you just have to go click and the id will automatically capture your test cases then no programming languages required except html yeah there is no languages required basic html is required so that you can understand what test cases have generated then you can export the uh, recorded test cases and you can reuse it and to write more complex test cases in selenium rc and web driver that we will see in the coming tutorials then we has uh, it has a reporting functionality reporting functionality in the sense it you can check at the end like which test cases are passed what is failed what is cause of failure that kind of thing it provides so cons are it is available only for Firefox browser. So what if you want to test the same web application in Chrome and Safari browser? It will not allow you to do that. Then we can only create prototypes of tests. We cannot uh, create uh, complex test cases. And we cannot add iterations, condition separators. As we don't have any access to write the test cases in IDE, we cannot add these kind of things. And here test execution requires more time. Let's go to next Selenium RC. So Selenium RC is Selenium Remote Control. That is the first testing framework to allow users to use programming languages. That means uh, in this, we, uh, as we saw in ID, we can ex extract our test cases. So as per are convenient like we are convenient in java we are convenient in ruby so it suppose supports many language uh, it supports java c sharp php python perl and ruby whatever language we are comfortable in we can export the test cases and we can write our own test cases we can write advanced test cases in this so let's go to the pros and cons so it supports cross browser and cross platform testing so it is very big advantage as we can use it for Firefox browser, Safari browser, Chrome browser, i Explorer, anything. Then we can add iterations and conditions as we can write our own code in the set of languages allowed by the Selenium. Uh, we can add our own iterations and conditions as per our test cases need that. So it also supports faster execution as compared to Selenium IDE. That is also great thing because uh, once we finish our automation we will have 
thousands of test cases for an application entire set of application and if we can reduce the execution time it saves a lot then it comes with a handy apis to perform advanced testing so it provides very nice apis which we will see in our future videos like how we can use this video, uh, apis to find particular element or find particular button where which we want to click and uh, we can how we can do double click how we can do scroll how we can uh, use these apis and do much more okay next is we can perform data driven testing using selenium rc uh, data driven testing is uh, we can we can fetch from means if your web application is suppose talking to a database so we need to fetch that data so that we can match what we are entering what we are saving in a database is actually going and saving there or if we are you know uh, having a table or display screen and what is there in the database it is displaying the exact same thing or not that we can test using this let's go to the con section now okay one must have a programming knowledge to use selenium rc um it is it is a con if you don't know any programming language as as you can see it supports many programming language so at least if you know one uh, not even you sh you should not be a pro of that language if you are a beginner of that language also you can start using this and you can be pro in both your programming language as well as selenium rc then for test execution running instance of selenium rc server is required yeah so in selenium rc means we have a client and we have a server so we whatever test cases we write it's using the selenium rc client jar and we have a server jar so those test cases communicate with the browser server and then we get the result so this is how it is in selenium rc third one is slow test execution time as compared to selenium web driver so it as we see it communicates with the server it gets a response from the server and then it execution depends on the that request response time hence it is little bit slower than selenium web driver selenium rc uses java scripts cause it inconsistent it sometimes inconsistent because uh, it uses java script uh, for communications through client server and sometimes it you might see it as a inconsistent sometimes your same test case will pass sometimes it will not pass so that behavior it is called as inconsistent here let us jump to selenium web driver now so selenium web driver is more advanced version of selenium so far it doesn't require uh, any server like we see in the rc and it does not use javascript hence it does not make the test cases inconsistent as it did in selenium rc so let's look at the pros uh, test cases written using selenium web driver directly communicates with the browser without any server in between that's why it has faster execution than compared to ib or rc and cons is this does not support new browsers readily if some new browser is launched apart from chrome chrome firefox safari and whatever we have so far then it will not support it directly so maybe they will launch new version of selenium web driver and that might include that uh, that uh, browser and then we can use it the next is selenium grid so selenium grid is uh, actually developed so that we can save our execution time that selenium grid is uh, used for parallel execution of test cases means a test cases are pushed on different virtual machines and the tests are ran par parallelly so that it uh, saves our execution time so in our uh, future videos we will see this in detail how we are going to use it so mostly we will focus on selenium web driver as it is more advanced and we will learn about selenium grid in the comment uh, tutorial thank you thank you all so much for watching this video if you have any questions any feedback any comments please write in the comment section below and if you like my video just give me a like thumbs up as this likes encourage me to write you know write and make more and more videos 
please subscribe to my channel guys so that you won't miss any of the coming videos and also click on the notification icon besides the subscribe button so that every time i upload a new video you will get a email in your inbox and you will never ever miss my videos thank you